Hey, we got something fun here today. This is the Oris Aquas Small Second Date. Now first, let's look at and enjoy how rich this blue is on this watch. They're not really shy when it comes to the blueness. Um, you look at the dial, beautiful, beautiful uh, blue, you know, with some gradient. It's a little shiny in the back. Uh, gives it a little bit of a reflective surface, you know, which isn't great all the time when diving, but it just looks like quite a stunner. And I like the fact that they did the, the blue band. That blue band just gives it a little more class. It makes it stand out. It doesn't look like every other dive watch. You know, they could have easily done the black strap. It still would have been a pretty nice looking watch, but the, the blue strap gives it a difference. This watch is, um, goes down 500 meters. It doesn't have the window that most of the other oars do. I guess that's because of the increased depth. So you saw the back there. It has the nice uh, Oris logo, but it still I love seeing that red rotor go around. That's something else that I wish was there. Um, this one is also a little bit bigger than your normal Aquas watch. Again, because it's got the, the separate second hand uh, on the face, it looks a little bit busier, but it still looks very clean if you look at it. There we go. There's another look at that nice blue Oris band. And it's adjustable. You can see the nice strap. Here it is on the wrist. Um, again, it's a little bigger than your normal Aquas watch, but it's a good size. It feels substantial. It doesn't feel too small, but it doesn't bump into things when you're wearing it. You know, it's not as big as the the depth gauge, but it's it's a nice you know medium size, I would say. The watch is 28 joules and it has a 38 hour power reserve. Let's see it in the dark here. Uh, the glow looks better in real life. It's hard to catch it on camera, but it's a good, good loom on there. Thanks guys.